Would you like to create a video with multiple face swaps using stable diffusion? If so, you're in the right place. We can now produce captivating videos with multiple face swaps thanks to the reactor and the next view extension. To make multi-face swapped videos, you must meet three essential requirements before you start the creation process. To begin making our multi-face swapped video, it's crucial to have a starting video ready that has two different people or faces in it. Requirement two, the next view extension. The next view extension is a valuable tool that transforms the starting video into a sequence of images. These images can then be used in image to image batch processing in combination with the reactor extension to create multiple face swapped images with ease. In the final step, you can easily convert this sequence of face swapped images back into a video using the next view extension. For further details, you can refer to the next view GitHub page, and as usual, you'll find the link in the description. Let's begin the installation process of the next view extension within the Stable Diffusion user interface. First, launch your Stable Diffusion web UI and select the Extensions tab in the top navbar. Now, go to the Install from URL section and paste in the GitHub URL and click on the Install button. Once the installation is complete, head to the Installed tab and click on Apply and Restart UI. Before moving to the third requirement, it's essential to verify the correct configuration of specific global settings within Stable Diffusion. These settings in Stable Diffusion hold significant importance in ensuring the accuracy of names for the face-swapped image sequence. This precision is a critical element for seamless use in the next view extension. Navigate to the Settings tab within Stable Diffusion, and in the left sidebar, select Saving Images as Grid. Confirm that the file format for images is configured to PNG also. Ensure the images file name pattern field is left empty and make certain that the option for adding a number to the file name when saving is unchecked. Once you've adjusted the settings accordingly, choose Apply Settings and then proceed to click on Reload UI. We are now at requirement three, the reactor extension. This extension is crucial for enabling face swaps within stable diffusion. By allowing the assignment of multiple faces, it becomes a breeze to generate multiple face swaps. If you haven't installed the reactor extension yet, don't worry. We have a detailed video and written tutorial on how to install and use the reactor extension within Stable Diffusion. You can find the links in the description. The process kicks off once you've successfully set up all the required elements, beginning with obtaining access to the next view extension. It's important to note that in order to utilize the next view extension, you must have FFmpeg installed on your computer. If you haven't installed it yet, you can find a written tutorial linked in the description for guidance. Now that everything is set up, we can move forward with the creation process. Go to the left side of the user interface in the next view extension and place your starting video onto the canvas and click the generate image sequence button. After the video is transformed into an image sequence, you'll receive a file location that holds all the extracted images. Make sure to copy this location for employing the image sequence and batch processing within the image to image tab. Let's now move on to the next step. Having copied the file location containing the image sequence extracted from the video using the next view extension, you can now navigate to the batch tab within image to image tab. Within the batch sub tab, paste the file location into the input directory field and select a fitting location for the output directory. This is where all the batch face swapped images will be saved. Please remember that the location you specified in the output directory will be employed later for converting the multi-face swapped images into a video using the next view extension. Let's move forward by adjusting the settings in the image to image tab. To begin, choose a checkpoint, which in our case is realistic vision. For the sampling method, opt for Euler A and set the sampling steps to 30. Make sure that the width and height match the aspect ratio of the image sequence we obtained from the next view extension, which in our case is a 9 to 16 aspect ratio. For the denoising strength, slide it all the way to zero. This is done to keep the image sequence unaltered, except for the faces with no additional modifications. Finally, to complete the configuration, set the seed to minus one. With these settings configured, we can now proceed to the next stage where we will utilize the reactor extension for multiple face swaps. 
Hopefully, you have some exciting faces in mind for this multi-face swap. Let's continue. Scroll down and open the Reactor drop-down menu. Within this section, make sure to enable the Reactor extension and place an image on the canvas that showcases two faces. In our example, this includes the beautiful face of Salma Hayek on the left and the face of Scarlett Johansson on the right. We'll assign face numbers to the image on the canvas in the input field labeled as Source Image starting from zero and going from left to right. In our case, at index zero, we have Salma Hayek, left, and at index one, we have Scarlett Johansson, right. Please note that the face numbers are separated by a comma without any spaces in between. Afterward, we'll use the same face numbers from the source image for the target image. The target image order determines how the face swap will appear in the final output. To achieve our desired outcome of having Salma Hayek, index 0, on the left, and Scarlett Johansson, index 1, on the right, we'll input these numbers as 0, 1 in the target image field. This setup establishes the sequence in which the face swaps will be applied to the image series. We'll keep the rest of the settings as default, click the Generate button, and patiently wait as your image sequence undergoes the multi-face swapping process using the facial images you've supplied on the Reactor Extension Canvas. Once the rendering process finishes, go ahead and copy the file location of the output directory. Now the next step is to transform those multi-face swapped image sequences back into a video. To convert your face swapped image sequence into a video, first access the Next View extension by navigating to the top nav bar in Stable Diffusion. Once inside the Next View extension, go to the Image Sequence 2 Video tab. Here, paste the file location Output Directory into the Image Sequence Location text field. Select your desired frames per second, FPS. We'll stick with 24 frames per second. Finally, click on Generate Video to initiate the process of turning the face-swapped image sequence into a video. To obtain the video, simply click on the download icon located in the right corner of the video canvas. It's important to note that the resulting video will be stored in the following directory. Stable Diffusion, Web UI, and Extensions, and Next View and Output Videos. Now it's time to take a look at the incredible multi-face swap video we've just crafted. Isn't this incredible? I hope you all gained new knowledge and are enthusiastic about giving it a try on your own. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the upcoming video.